I brought it in here knowing that it was a different context, of course, you know, with data fest and, uh, you know, so I, I chose for this specific angle on language, you know, language as imprisonment, but language also as a way to set you free. Uh, because language has poetry and imaginary and imagination, all that in it, and you see that when you walk through the galleries, you know, it starts with Bob and Roberta Smith with this bonfire, which is of course a big relativation of all the language as we use it, not the pretentious language, so to say. I love it. I think it's really powerful. I think it's a really powerful medium and it, and it it's open to interpretation in so many different ways, but all of them are powerful. Um, and it certainly made me view things in a different way. The power of words and the power of the imagery is just fantastic. It's phenomenal. Uh, and this, of course, a beautiful work of Ben Cove on the wall. Uh, everything's going to be all right, you know, like all the letters dropping uh, to, the, to the floor. Yeah, and then, we, and then it becomes more physical, you know, with the enormous pill, table of pills. David Critchley's piece, you know, with a collection of pharmaceuticals, you know, compare that to the Damien Hurst piece with the pills, which is all of the aesthetic and decorative. This is meaningful and deep. And then if you continue, you see this, like, incredible work. For me, that was a new work. It was not a new normal of Christina Borland. You know, that was a new piece. But what a fantastic idea that if you go like someone one way, it, it, it makes them look passive and weak. And if you turn it out the other way, immediately you become strong and empowered. It's just fantastic. So, I'm very impressed. And if you go then upstairs, you see the the works of uh, Karen Samba, you know, these are all 3D prints of, uh, of visitors of the Nick Normal exhibition in Amsterdam actually, you know, and you know, showing all the diversity, and all the diversity that, you know, that we consist of. And it, the whole narrative continues into the, onto the level of genes actually, with the work of Amse Parera, which is these different cells. No, because on a level of genes there is no such thing as normalcy. It's not there. <laughs>